You know, after making that P.O. Box video, I legitimately didn't think many of you would care about the 40k opening, but it turns out I got a lot more 40k fans than I expected. I don't know, 40k was always one of those games that I would play with, like, some close friends, but you never could really ask anyone, like, hey, do you play 40k? Because it's such a small kind of group of people, but I guess now that I'm talking to a gaming audience and a large internet audience, there's a lot more people who care about it, so here we are. You know, we're unboxing the uh, the 40k collector's edition, the new eighth edition Imperium big collector's edition thing. It's a uh, it's a it's a pretty penny. I think it costs a little bit over four hundred dollars because this is Games Workshop we're talking about, of course. But I mean, the last month or this month of uh, Loot Crate was League of Legends, so you know, did pretty well with that. So I, I could splurge a little bit to go ahead and get this guy. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of an unboxing and really see what's like really see what's in this thing and and talk a little bit about maybe gush a bit about 40k lore so it's exciting okay this guy is really heavy actually uh but it's got a lot of books in it so it comes in this case right here uh, this big old case right here you can see the little head almost kind of like the uh, the i don't know the name of it but the medical uh sign with like the arms and the legs and all the positions and such the head there has a, a imperium symbol right in the front of it very well detailed for this box and when you open up the box right here uh, all right, what we got here? So, uh, looks like there's the books that come with it. Let's see if I can get this thing out real fast. Oh, it's got like those little like wrapping papers. You know, you probably hear it right now as you open it up. A little black wrapping paper. Okay. All right, there we go. Get this guy out there. I don't believe these sides are full of anything, so that's good. I don't need to worry about that. Oh, that is beautiful. So it comes in this big case right here. Of this big space marine. I'm trying to figure out which marine this is. Oh, that's interesting, actually. I believe that the um, the left side is standard Imperium, but the right side looks like a plague marine. As you can tell, it's got a little bit of a green like color to it. But also, not just that, but it also is a little bit of... Uh, like, uh, you can see a chaos symbol on the far top mixed with the Imperium symbol as well. So it's an interesting combination of the actual Imperium with Chaos at the same time. Which is neat, you know, considering how Chaos really works in, in the whole uh, universe uh, universe of 40k. Alright, so, go ahead and open this guy up. And the first thing we have in the top part... Oh, this got a lot of segments. So the first thing we have is this booklet right here. It comes in uh, this cool... I don't really know, I don't really recognize this symbol. It's got the, a snake and eagle and, the, of course, the skull, but it looks like almost a chain gun on the top in kind of a T shape. Uh, let's see what it says on, on the side. It says, just simple Warhammer 40k, there is no time for peace. On the back, it says, uh, forget the power of technology, science, and common humanity. Forget the promise of progress and understanding, for there is no peace amongst the stars. Only an eternity of carnage and slaughter and the laughter... Of thirsting gods. That is the most 40k thing I think I've ever heard. Uh, let's open this guy up. Oh man. Oh, the, the artwork is already prominent on the front. You turn the first page and ah, you have the same uh, uh, the same opening picture as before. Uh, let's see. Is this the... Uh, what kind of book is this? Uh, this seems to be... Ah... Okay, so this is a is a standard lore book as well as I believe a little bit I can't tell if this is also a real rule book as well But as you kind of flip through this thing you go ahead and you kind of learn more about you know Here's a page about the man about my uh, mankind in the immaterium uh, You of course have navigators of the warp and such uh, you know go ahead and plot those stars. Thank you God Emperor uh, have the worlds of the Imperium as well. It seems to be a lot of lore based stuff Basically, Age of Darkness, of course. Um, where is... Oh, of course, fantastic artwork in all of these because, let's be real, GW, if they do anything well, as they do artwork really well. Uh, let's see what we got. Ah, here we have all the different kinds of uh, Space Marines and stuff. You've got the Space Wolves, shows off the Grey Knights, as well as um, Death Watch. Ooh, I always I thought Death Watch was cool. Uh, Astra Militarium, or also known as the um, the Imperial Guard, uh, the humble last gun. Oh, man, the good old picture of the Imperial Guard. But that humble last gun, just basically saying, you know, your humble flashlight, your garbage weapon. I don't know what the actual numbers are for this time around, but uh, do they have a tenth first and only anywhere? 
uh, Katie and Shock Trooper, Katachan, uh, Death Corps, Krieg. No, I don't see any. Damn, I don't see any uh, Tanith first and only. I always loved Gaunt's Ghosts. That was a fantastic um, book. Adeptus Mechanicus. Of course, you gotta love the, you gotta love Mars. Uh, ooh, no, uh, Legion Scatari. Scatari was added just recently, which I thought were incredibly cool looking. Uh, I should probably hold it like this. I think I don't know. It's kind of hard to hold like this kind of stuff, but uh, Scatari, of course. Ah, Imperial Knights. Yes, yes. Uh, Imperial Agents. Oh, Imperial Agents. Oh, right. Uh, the Assassin Codex, of course. Uh, I've always been a big fan of the Evasaur Assassin. Good old dude with the skull face and the giant talon. Uh, absolutely disgusting. And, of course, the Adeptus Roratus. Uh, now we're getting into the models section of it. I don't know if this is a rule book as well. If, there is, if this is just specifically... Uh... Oh, no, this is full-on lore, I think. See, of course, you got your good old Necrons here. You know... I like Necrons, they're cool. Ah, fucking Eldar. Ugh. Skipping past these these stupid ass goddamn space elves. Orcs, of course. Uh, so never forget the Tau, um, with the only cool guy in the Tau being Commander Farsight, you goddamn weebs. Tyranids, etc, etc. Most of this just kind of ends up becoming some form of, uh, of lore book. At the end, though, you seem to have a little bit of discussion about um, strategies and, like, campaign lore-based games. So you have things like uh, camouflage or silenced weapons if you want to like work in them in some kind of campaign you want to do, like a larger one. Uh, as you move forward, you have, of course, tactical objectives and uh, advanced rules, command points, etc., etc. After, after you get to a certain point, this is mainly just like cool stuff you could do for your uh, campaign, but not actual rule books, I don't believe. So that's pretty much the end of this book right here. Quite, I mean, obviously it's hardback. They're all, I think, in hardback, so it looks really awesome. Uh, moving there from, the, uh, moving from there, uh, this one's going to be a little bit difficult to get out. Uh, it, this holds like a little box, you know, so you open up, but it does actually open up like here, so it's easy to get the books out, which is quite nice, I must say. All right, so place this guy back on the ground real quick. What is this one right here? Uh, the wasteland of lost souls, filled with the anguished cries of heretics and traitors. Ooh. What does this say? Well, the front is a, is a very standard, you know, art right there. Nothing too crazy, but... You cannot see the horrors that lurk in the night, but be assured that they are there, waiting to pounce when our guard is down. Be vigilant, trust your war gear, have faith in your master, let your armor be hate. Ah, good old Imperium. Uh, oh, this is actually the artwork book. So this is... Okay, this is the artwork. Uh, which, of course, do a very good job. Of course, you've got good old Militario Rambo. You know, good old the Katachan, or Katchan, how you say him. Oh, of course, you've got Regular. Got good old Commissar in the back there for artwork. Uh, there's just, there's just, I, I keep trying to, I'm trying to figure out the best way to do unboxing this kind of stuff, but there are some excellent ones. Oh, you got a little bit of Eldar there. A little bit of Dark Eldar, I do believe. Uh, who else do we have? Oh, more Imperium, of course. Uh, oh, got a little bit of chaos going on there. Not the nicest of people. Who would have guessed? Uh, space wolves. Mm-hmm. Get on those mounts. Uh, where's... I want to find myself a little bit of... Uh, let's find... If, whoa, those look like... That looks like a Grey Knight to me. Yeah, that's that's a Grey Knight, all right. Man, he's fucking tearing through demons. Doesn't give a shit. That's cool. I, I'm a I'm a Grey Knight player, of course. But I like to be a very infantry-focused one. I hate just running, like, four Dread Knights. And that's really dumb. Ooh, uh, land scars. Let's see. Uh, where is the one that I'm, I'm looking for? Something very specific. Uh, I'm looking for the ah, yes, of course. Get the good old Smurfs. A little bit of ultramarine excitement there, of course. There's a lot of artwork here. It's it's a pretty large book. So it really is like it's a pretty solid book of artwork. And there's a lot of cool stuff you could find in here. There really is. You got this, you know you got imperial fists. There is a lot of very impressive artwork, and of course, artwork is just... I don't know. It's extremely enjoyable. Oh! Oh! I... Ooh! I like that. I like that. That is some sick stuff. Oh, you got the, uh... uh Deathless Mechanicus, too. Being all edgy, hooded people. This is excellent. This is an excellent artwork. Uh, art... Art book. Oh, I probably should say this. I'm not sponsored by GW or anything. I'm not. I'm just... I just wanted to open it. So, I probably should say that, just for the, the, the naysayers, I guess. Probably should mention that. So, past that, after those two books, I'm reaching downwards. 
Oh my god, this book is massive. What the fuck? Oh, there's two books. So this one uh, is a very similar look to the last one, except, whoop, that was my mic. Uh, much thinner. I think this is the rule book, or... What is this, actually? Oh, no, it's not the rule book. This? Oh, I see. Well, there's a couple prints here. Uh, you have a couple signed prints, it would seem, from artists. Um, Paul Paul Dainton, I believe. Day I think it's a plague marine right there. God, they're disgusting people. This man as well, he has drawn a uh, Primaris Intercessor? In Intercessor, I think? Another one of these signed, of course. These are actually quite nice prints. And uh, this, I do believe, is a map of the actual uh, 40k universe and galaxy. If I can get this thing open as best as I can. There we are. The Gathering Storm. Or maybe not a map of it, but definitely a lot of major stuff. Gathering Storm right here. And then on the back, you have the Great Rift, of course, showing Terra and Mars dead in the center. Uh, very important spots, I would say. I would think about it. Uh, this is not a whole lot going on here, mainly just a couple of uh, cool quotes from some of the characters in 40k. Um, if I can go ahead and find one right back here. Uh, this, is an, actually, this is an anonymous quote, but it says, Sometimes the good must perish so that the rest survive. The lot of courage is to be sacrificed upon the altar of battle. So these are just nice prints and stuff in this uh, little, small, small little booklet here, you know, that you go ahead and store it in. Finally, this last thing that came in here is this massive book right here as i open this guy up ooh, yes okay so it opens up like this in which it has a lot of stuff inside uh this i do believe is our natural rule book tiny little pocket rule book right here um yeah there we go crucibles of war uh maelstrom of war advanced rules battle forged armies uh overall standard like little mini pocket book the word of the em Emperor is the rule of the Imperium. The will of the Emperor is the might of the Imperium. The blessing of the Emperor is the light of the Imperium. Of course, of course. So, obviously there's a lot of great artwork in here as well. But of course, there's core rules and stuff. You know, you've got movement phase, attacking phase. Um, of course, or well, movement psychic, uh, shooting and assaulting, of course. But uh, this is a standard ones. Narrative play. Uh, any of the advanced rules, of course. And the... Uh, of, and then, you know, different types of campaigns you can have and things like that. It also comes with its own uh, bit of... Whoa, hello. Ugh. I actually don't know what this is. There's a little car. I think it's for, like, whose turn it is. Um, there you go. Negotiation is surrender is what it says. Uh, nice little metal uh, piece right here. I'm not quite sure what it's for specifically. Uh, however, it is very neat. Uh, then you've got, you've got command markers, which actually are super neat. It says, of course, let your armor be hate, and on the back is a three. So, these are the six different command marker points. Of course, uh, here is two. Uh, come on, you. There you go. Right, close enough. There's two, and then there's the one all the way to six. They all say, let your armor be hate on the other side. Um, these are actually quite nice. They're practically like coins. Like, little coins you can do. Place them whatever you need to do inside the campaign. These are actually very high quality, look incredibly nice. And then past that, you have, uh, of course, tactical objectives, which come in this little deck of cards right here. Uh, right, of course, you know, they, they have a, no actually, wow, come to think of that, that's fucking detail as shit, holy crap. That's detail as fuck for like a holder for cards. God dang. So inside here are all the cards, which I don't know why they have this like sheen black color on the side. Um, Ooh, these are, ooh, these, these are detailed cards, my dude. These are detailed. Tactical objective, primary orders received, uh, big game hunter, of course, assassinate, all the different kinds of cards that go into here. Defend objective four, secure objective four, any of the major objective uh, based modes that go ahead and are played during 40k, of course. So these are, of course, very important. Uh, God, they, they just such high quality for fucking cards, man. And then, last but not least, I do we have a little uh, pouch here. I thought these were dice in the beginning. But I don't think they are. I think they're actually markers or some form of objective, I think. I don't really know entirely what these guys are. If they're dice, I'm, ex I'm happy about that. I'm very happy about that. They're not dice, no. Uh, they're little markers. I think they're command point markers. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe the point gatherer. I'm not sure exactly what they are, but... 
Um, I probably could look, but I forget exactly what these things are. They're tiny little um, servitor skulls. I think they're servitor skulls, at least. It's going to be very difficult to see. But they're these tiny little servitor skull things that you can go ahead and there's like, there's a lot of them. There's probably around, I'd say, 10, 15 in here. Um, each of these little skulls, I don't know exactly what you would use them for. Whether they are used to count points, perhaps to count wounds on targets, or anything in between. That is uh, a little case of these guys. I always thought they were for command objectives, but it seems like these were for command objectives. So, I'm not entirely sure what they are. Luckily for you, they're all in this nice little felt case right in here, of course. Um, that, which is important to have. So you can fit all the objectives as well as the cards. And as well as that cool little nameplate in here as well. Because, let's be real here, negotiation is, uh, is surrender. So, as that closes up, it seems that I may have been mistaken when I said that that is where all the Imperium rules came from and the characters. Uh, it uh, might be the case that they are in here instead. If I can go ahead and find them. Hmm. Shit, I don't think I can find them. Okay, so I made a small mistake. I was under the impression that the Collector's Edition came with the Imperium Codexes. I was wrong. I, I thought they I thought they did. I was very wrong. They do not come with that. Uh, instead, they come with all the, the artwork and then all the lore. Because the Codexes now are simply just that. They're just rules. They're just rule Codexes. So instead, I think, of the $60 or whatever they used to be, they're $25. I'm looking at the website right now. For instance, you have uh, Index, like Imperium 1, which is Space Marines, Blood Angels, Dark Angels, Space Wolves, Grey Knights, Death Watch, and the Legion of the Damned in one book, which is 25 bucks, instead of like the Grey Knight book, which is 60, combined with all of the lore, all of the extra stuff, and only shows their rules. So the rules are separate. So that's actually my fault. I made that mistake there. So my bad. I, I was confused on that one. I could have sworn that they came with this, but it does not. This is all the base around the rule book, the artwork, the lore, the sign prints, the map, as well as all the extra stuff that you can use, such as the um, little nameplate cards, the little markers, as well as each and every one of the objective markers. So I was kind of right, kind of wrong. Um, overall, I know they only make, I think if I can double check my um, the little like website I have pulled open right now. I believe there's only 2,000. Yeah, there's only 2,000 of these uh, collector's edition stuff right here that you can go ahead and open or buy it all, probably which is why it's so expensive. Uh, for everything that you get in it, I would have liked if the index, the Imperium index kind of came with it. That would have been very nice and just a lot of less time that I would have had to spend uh, or pay in the butt to get them because now I have to wait for them to ship again. And I'm like, shit, because I really wanted to start making armies and stuff. But I mean, kind of my own fault. I should have checked. Still, though, a little expensive without including that. If you included that, I would have been a lot happier. But for what you do get in here, if there's anything, the quality of it is really high. Whether or not it's worth the money, eh, it's up to you. But the quality is extremely high in the stuff that comes in here. The artwork is beautiful. The sign prints are fantastic. All the little uh, markers and stuff look excellent. The cards look excellent, as well as the lore books. So... It is very dang neat. I'm excited to go ahead and start playing some 40k again. I'm uh, very interested in going ahead and doing the uh, some 40 uh, or some Grey Knight games. Uh, you play Grey Knight Imperial Fists, but specifically, I want to play a little bit of uh, Imp Guard, a little bit of Astra Militarium, as they call it now, because Bane Blades can now be taken in standard games. They're expensive as fuck, but they can be taken. And the Shadow Sword, I think, is what it's called, has some like. I think it's the Volcano Cannon, has like a 120 inch range, heavy D6, strength, uh, I think strength 16, AP minus 4, and it does D6 wounds per wound. Fuck. That's gross as shit. Ow. That's, it's nasty. And I'm very excited to use that thing, so, I don't know, I've always loved Bane Blades. Uh, I've always liked Grey Knights, but uh, maybe I'll just run a Grey Knight list with a Bane Blade. I'm an asshole, I know, I'm sorry. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this quick unboxing. Like, very, very easy, not much editing, just a simple video. Kind of wanted to talk about Gush a little bit. Uh, I do love me some 40k universe. I, I want to get some of the new assassins, because some of the new assassins are gross, too. So we'll see how it works out. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this video. I know it's a very quick one, but uh, I know not my usual thing on this channel. I probably can't do any battle reports or anything. It's too much work, and I don't really have the time or the space or the equipment. But... I mean, you'll probably get some 40k references back and forth as I uh, make videos. Blood for the blood god, right? All right.
I'll see you later. Bye-bye.